Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I've got just kind of a mixed bag haul for you today with a little story time. I did some shopping for spring and thought I would show you what I got and tell you a little story. First story. So I think I told you a couple weeks ago, I had a biopsy on my neck for a suspicious looking mole, freckle, something. So it did come back as abnormal, not cancer, not nothing. So she it was like right in the middle of moderate, hey buddy, a moderate concern. So it hadn't turned into melanoma yet, but it definitely could turn into melanoma. So today I went and you can see my bandage. They cut open about that big, took out the suspect area and stitched me up. So she said, at this point, I don't need to worry about this anymore. It didn't turn into melanoma. It's not cancer, but they want to get that suspect tissue out of there because it can. On my face, all the places that I had frozen were pre-cancer. Um, I go back in a couple months for my lip. It's still red, but it's healing. She said, once it's done healing, if it's still suspect in my nose, we'll use some chemotherapy cream to attack that because we obviously don't want that to turn into skin cancer. So that's where we're at. So I took the day off, not knowing how I would feel or what was gonna happen. And so I went shopping, cause that's how I do. Mm. Coffee. Okay. So first things first, we went to Target and they have these boards. It's just a wooden sign. You can hang it long ways. You can also do it sideways. You just have to put a different hanger up here, but it does have the two uh, sawtooth hangers and it's just black. I don't even think it's chalk. I love these and I probably should have got more than one and maybe I'll grab another one uh, for crafting, but it's, it's wood and the measurements, if it says, which I don't know that it does, it doesn't give a measurement, but it's a decent size. Wall hanging for crafting. It was $5 and there's the information. $5. So I grabbed that and then I have planting that needs to happen. And will you please take a look at this? How boho does this look like that old rattan? It is a clay pot with a hole in the bottom which I, I need, you know, for good drainage and little things. It's a planter. And this as well was $5. I should have, no, I do not need two. I need one. I don't need two of everything. Hi, buddy. What are we doing? So I grabbed one of these. And it's a decent size. I have to, I think I mentioned on a couple of videos, I need to repot some plants this spring. And then the last thing I got at the Target for my plants was this riser. It doesn't have to be just for plants, but that's what I'm gonna use it for. Um, I like things at different heights in my window. And this also was $5. And yeah, it could be used for really anything, but I'm gonna use it in my window to get some height, different, different heights on my plants. So that is what I picked up at the old Target this morning. Right, um, Debbie, you wanna say hi? He said, no, lady, you don't want to say hi. You say hi. He's so pretty. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. He went out front for a hot minute. Then I went and had my procedure and then I needed to go to the Amish store. I'll show you that in a minute. But then I saw TJ Maxx and decided that was more important for the Amish store right out of the gate. So I went to TJ Maxx and I got some coffee um brand cafe i've never had this brand before this is 4.99 18 counts toasted coconut and salted caramel i love coffee you know that and that's a good deal for an 18 count i hope it's good which i'm sure it's fine i'm sure um i picked up some of these keto cookies i will have a video out of a review i ordered on Amazon the Dash brand individual, um, my, it's called My Pint. It makes a pint of ice cream. You have to make the creme anglaise for it and then you, it 
churns and makes ice cream. So I'm gonna make a video on that, but these are, I'm gonna make ice cream sandwiches. And these keto cookies are just the right thing because they're nice and soft. So I grabbed a bag of those. This was $5.99 and those are good. Then I grabbed another hair wrap. This is a top knot hair towel, super soft, absorbent, and lightweight. And it is microfiber, but it doesn't feel like that other microfiber. I really have been enjoying these. Um, so I grabbed one more. I use them like once or, well, two times usually before I wash them, just cause they start to smell musty. But I grabbed a third one just to have. And this one is much more, absorbent than the other one that I bought. So hopefully, and it just says warm, gentle machine wash, do not bleach, do not dry clean. 85% polyester, 15% nylon. So I grabbed one of these, I like these. And I liked the larger ones to get my hair. Um, I picked up, why? I don't know. These gray joggers, I think they're gray. Yeah, they're gray and black joggers with the nice pocket in the front and they're nice and thick and warm and then they have the cuffed bottom. Some of my leggings and pants are a little big right now uh, so I needed to get some replacements. This is a size extra large um, but I love this nice wide band and it's got a good stretch to it. So hopefully they'll fit. I didn't try them on yet. I will do that. If I need to return, I can return. And these were $19.99. And I can, I've been donating some of my pants that are a little too big for me. And then I picked up this basket. It's from the company called Bombay. Um, woven basket. It's $16.99. It says compare it at $25, but I'm not sure where we're comparing it. But it's a rope basket, so this is like cotton rope that they sew together. Um, for my cross stitch and my crafting stuff that sits over here on my end table. So I do a lot of crafting in my chair and I just have stuff everywhere and I'm trying to corral it together. Also, Wellington threw up on some of my floss. So I'm trying to keep it out of his. I mean, he could easily throw up in this basket, but he doesn't typically do that. And he just ruined a little bit of floss, but that kind of reminded me, I need to get this stuff picked up at the end of the day and put away and I can just put it in my basket on the floor or on the night, on the end table by my chair over here and all of my stuff would just be together. This is also good for pet toys if you have a lot, which I do, but I'm not putting pet, I'm not getting yet another basket for the pet toys. Um, but but they also sell them that say like dog toys, cat toys, pets just want to have fun. But I like these baskets. So I grabbed that for $16.99. That was at TJ Maxx. Then I went to Yoder's. So I'm in Central Ohio and in Heath, the store used to be called Azure Farms, but now it's called Yoder. So I'm assuming it was bought out. But anyway, that's, this is the closest store to me to get Troyer's Trail Bologna, which I love. Sure did grab two. Um, I'm actually taking one of these with me to Canada, sliced up with, I'll show you what else, in a container because this is a meal for me. Many a day I have a little chunk of Trail Bologna and cheese as dinner. And I have a refrigerator in my hotel room and I'm not sure the food situation. I think I've mentioned this. So for me, it's better just to be bringing some stuff that I can have. I'll eat it for lunch, breakfast, whatever, or on the car ride up and then I'll have some for the car ride back. I'm not taking both. Um, and these are good until the 10th of May. Oh, they'll be long gone by then. So I grabbed two of those and then I am obsessed. You have to have Swiss cheese from Gugesberg to go with your trail bologna from Troyer. It's a thing. Um, so I grabbed a pound block of, I don't think I know if I'm saying it right, Gugesberg Mild Swiss. And this is made here in Ohio as well, up in Holmes County, Amish country, somewhere up that way. I'm sure Vicki, you can tell me where it's made. I've been there a million times, but I don't pay attention to those things. Um, Sugar Creek maybe? So yes, I mean, this right here, throw a pickle 
some mustard and a Ritz cracker. And that's what I grew up eating when I was little in the summer. That would be like dinner at my house. We just love this stuff. So I grabbed that. The whole point that I went is I wanted to bring some gifty things for some folks. So if you're at the retreat, don't look. Um, I was like, oh, I need to go get something. And what more is Yoder's homemade apple butter. So I'm bringing this as a gift to Canada for the lovely lady who is running the retreat. Um, I wanted to bring some Ohio things. So I got some chocolates from the candy store here, Anthony Thomas. And I got some homemade um, apple butter that is made, I think this is Sugar Creek. Yeah, this one's made in Sugar Creek. So I grabbed her a jar of that. And then I grabbed, and I think this candy is also made here. Um, I don't, 100% sure, but I just grabbed some little individually packaged chocolates. This is salted caramel. I know that. Sea salt caramel, regular caramels. Uh, I think I got our maple cream as well. I think so. Oh, and a couple toffees. Just a bag of chocolates. And then I have the candy from Anthony Thomas. So that's everything I did today at Yoder's. I spent $39.13. The trail bolognese were $9.81. The apple butter, and then I got myself a no sugar added apple butter because I can have a little bit of this. A tablespoon is a serving and it has three carbs. So I just have to go light on it, but I can have the unsweetened. So I grabbed one for me. Those were $3.39. The candy was $3 and the Swiss was $5.89. Oh, and I got, I always get, they have a trail and Swiss cheese cut up already and with crackers i don't eat the crackers but that's usually my treat when i go and i eat it on the way home and that little package was 3.99 so i spent three dollars 39 dollars and 13 cents at yoder's farm store so i think that'll be a lovely gift some apple butter some candy just some ohio stuff and this is delicious i also eat this on the cheese and trail i'm just saying all right, that is everything. I'm going to put it up and then in the same shirt, I'm going to do a Dollar Tree haul because I need to get that done today too. All right, everybody. I hope you have a good one and I will talk with you later.